Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the new age, this is the legendary heroes number 28T City Commander Octavian. So for those of you who can already guess, this is the third party legend scale version of Generation 1 Ultra Magnus. With this video then we're going to take him out of the packaging, we're going to have a look at the entire contents, we're going to do some comparisons with him and some other new age figures and of course we'll do probably one of the most important and that is compare him with the original generation one figure now you can tell pretty much already just how much smaller this guy is so we're going to have a look at him as i say in all of his modes which includes the cab as a robot the combined robot and indeed the um combined trailer as well so let's get them out of the packaging and have a look at them so i've set them free from the packaging i just very quickly wanted to show you the back of the box and that is in fact only the back of the figure and i've set him free from the plastic and this is what we've got uh we're going to have a look at these in two individual parts first and foremost then we'll have a look at them combined and of course we'll do a couple of comparisons as well now the cab itself again super super detailed it's not exactly the same as this which is of course uh, new age's take on david the whole cab section looks to be exactly the same to be honest with the same front chest piece there at the bottom the back of the legs are definitely very different and that's because obviously you've got this part here where we can hitch the trailer to it however as you can see all the wheels go around completely independently they look really good we've got translucent windows detail there on the windscreen wipers on the grill nice use of the red paint there um, and again remember this is the translucent version so we've got some clear plastic here on the underside etc but overall as you can see and tell it's a nice looking figure let's just move him out of the way we'll have a better look at that in the actual cab as a robot mode so to give you an idea again of, i suppose of scale there's a core class swoop um and indeed we've got a deluxe class jazz so you can see this really is a very small figure let's move these out of the way for now now what comes inside the packaging we've got a gun which is a perfect homage to the generation one which i've just dropped but there we go you can see that is exactly that it's just a bit smaller and um, then we've got another blaster as well we've got this which i suppose is more to be used again with this in robot mode we've got two sets of hands it looks like they're for the main uh, bigger version in honesty and we've got these little bits now again i can't seem to find anywhere on the trailer mode like this where i can attach them please correct me if i'm wrong i am new to oh no maybe i can yes i can i didn't think i could do that i can attach them there there's not even that on the picture to be honest um unless it's not supposed to go there but i can't see why it wouldn't want to go there because that of course homage is the original generation one version of this figure which talking of which i'm going to bring in in a second now what you also need to do is separate this now the only uh, i don't even think it's negative i think it's just maybe maybe in pedantic or it's just an observation this trailer and i don't mean the size because of the size it's aimed at looks really really small compared to this for instance um i can't see me fitting you know two or three magic not even magic square new age figures on this at all whereas obviously with the original which if we bring in here now which is of course huge compared to this particular version now obviously i don't mean that the trail is bigger because uh, by, by just saying the trail is bigger because it is but what i mean is on this particular trailer you can see it's way way bigger than what the cab is whereas with this it's probably about 40 percent 60 percent if you know what i mean this is about 40 this is about 60 whereas with that you probably got 20 and 80 which you could you could put you know a couple of figures in here a couple of figures on the top whereas with this you you just can't let's be honest it's not um big enough but i think the main reason for that is the main draw of this figure is the fully combined mode which we are going to have a look at with regards to the rest of the accessories again to my knowledge i don't think you can start to pop them everywhere you might be able to put a few through the holes and stuff in here but it's not supposed to at all to be honest um and as i say i think in fact i'd be very surprised if many people are in fact displaying this in this particular mode rather than the combined one 
but I think to be honest that's all there is to say about this particular part we need to look at the cabin robot and then the combined mode so there's also a set of instructions which again um, curse of the third party they're huge there's loads of steps but they're not very detailed so let's get him transformed into his one of his other modes and I'll come straight back so then for this part of the video we're going to have a look at the white cab so of course this is him transformed um into his i suppose i don't even know whether it's called it. it's not like an inner bot it's just the white cab version of ultra magnus but what i like is the fact that we've got the painted face which funnily enough some of the versions um typically not this one here but other versions i've got did have the painted face now the really i suppose cool thing about this is this plays homage to this particular part of ultra magnus so so well because the fact that of course you can take the fists off on this guy i'm not going to you can take these off and there's you can choose other ones which was again exactly the same as the g1 you could take the hands off you'd put them on um but because i've not got them on here that's because main i just had him combined which is what i've got you've then got another two sets of hands there which you can put into them there and he's got a couple of weapons as i say he's got two like this so he's got his standard i suppose maybe um ultra magnus gun which we can pop in this and indeed we can pop this gun in as well just about fits in i think it does i think this one is more intended for the larger version but this is definitely intended for the larger um version of ultra magnus because that's pretty much a good carbon copy of the original which you'll see in the next section um but again as i say the brilliant homages to this is the fact obviously with this you could pull the chest down granted there was no matrix in it but in this there is a matrix and it's already loose you can hear that it's already loose um and for some reason i just really struggle getting into these um there we go let's move that open this is a tiny tiny matrix i mean look at that that's i mean minute i'm trying to think of something to show you uh to give you an idea of how big it is that can't even be a centimeter so that can't be 10 millimeters from one side to the other so i'm going to carefully if i can close that back in the other interesting thing with this is for myself because i'm new to all of this is this particular cab is different to the version of david that i've got so there is david which of course if we want to get um well not let's as i said they're pretty similar the top half is very similar but the legs are quite a bit different to be honest um they just again the way the feet and everything fold out you can tell here that the feet on the side are slightly different and the way that the wheels are tucked away you can clearly see two wheels tucked away there whereas there's none there the wheels on these ones are tucked away in a different place i know this is the comic book version so what they must have done is they must have updated the cab version for this but again the rest of the proportions um are about the same same height etc but let's be honest it really isn't about this particular figure it's about the combined form of ultra magnus um so i've already took the um trailer apart to be honest i took the trailer apart and i've sort of partially got this ready to combine which is what the next section is going to be but what i actually need to do and again i'm going to do it quickly off camera i'm going to hopefully get a tutorial uploaded soon because there's so many transformation processes i want to try and keep the main length of the video down but it's not just as simple as the g1 where you could hide his head away and then just attach it to this you've got to do a transformation process to this cab so i'm going to do the transformation process of the cab and then we will build him up into the actual ultra magnus figure that we want to see okay then so i've got the cab ready for the combining process and i'm going to show you that but like i said i'm going to upload a transformation tutorial because it just really is really quite long to be honest so what we've done is i've turned the shoulders completely around folded them on the top and lifted up the midsection because that's what gives you the ab crunch and this again is unfortunately but it's what the same as all of the ultra magnuses have been I think i think pretty much forever to be honest all the ones like this anyway parts forming so we've got the back end of the trailer here we can see we can slot the leg in there and then there's a red tab that's going to click into the back of the thigh there if i just click this up so we lift this up so you can see what i'm doing and tap that in there fold this over and clip this in i just need to stand his legs up that's not gone in or why is that not gone in there we go that's better and as you can see that's it there's that tab on the outside same for this so it's just like we're putting on big wellies or big boots whatever you want to call it slot this into position 
and then close this over. It does all tab together really nicely, to be honest. It really does. Lift this part up, take the midsection. There's hip skirts here as well, which is brilliant. So you've still got full, more than full use of articulation. These little white bits that came as well um, off the back of the trailer. Now let's make sure I get these right. It looks like these go, yep. Was that it or was that the wrong side? I wouldn't be surprised if I put it in the wrong side. I think I have, there we go. Um, these, as you can see, are covering the tops of the thighs. There we go. It just makes the color match that bit, bit better, obviously. There we go. That's made the legs fully compact. Now the same with this. Open this up. So if you spin around at the back, this is the way it's gonna look. This is gonna come over through that gap slot around and again we're going to get these tabs going in either side just like so and then we can bring the arms around as well and there we have our ultra magnus which again i'm sure you'll agree is worth the wait and indeed he looks stunning i'm going to take these off um, as well like this and i've not done this yet myself so there we go that looks like it's going to attach there of course they don't fire that is one i suppose I could, it could be called a negative but let's be honest i think people who are buying these uh they're not really buying these to sort of play with um well, well i wouldn't say play with but you know what i mean so they're not too fussed that they're not going to be firing missiles i of course made a schoolboy error in the previous part these are the hands for this part not the little one um he would have looked a little bit odd uh, maybe a little bit like kenny everett uh, which British people might get uh, rather than anybody else. But yes, um, they are for the large bot and not that. And indeed, it looks like, to be honest, these guns are, because as you can see, these then do fit in the hands much, much easier. And I'm going to keep that one, which is, of course, the exact pretty much replica of G1 Optimus Prime for the inner um, cab mode, if, if I ever do choose to do that. Right. Let me bring out this particular chap right here. <laughs> wow, he doesn't even fit on screen. Um, there you go. Let me just readjust the camera so I can get him in on screen. Okay, there we go. We can actually see them now. So you can see, and I suppose get an idea of just how much smaller this is. And also just get, of course, the idea of how much more articulate this particular version is. It is brilliant. But while we're going to have a quick look at some Ultra Magnuses, we might as well bring this guy up. Because uh, especially because he's translucent as well. Um, and of course, that's the Shining Magnus from eHobby. Uh, but much, much smaller than them. And then, funnily enough, I'm not going to bring out all of the War for Cybertron Ultra Magnuses because I think there's, there's Kingdom, there's Netflix, and there's Siege. So there's an abundance of them. So I'll just bring up the one like so. I need to take him away from behind now because, of course, you can see it's yeah, affecting how it looks. He is completely loads, loads smaller than all of them, which is exactly what we'd expect. So final few comparisons or, I suppose, display ideas. In fact, no more comparisons. I've got no more Magnuses at hand anyway so for those of you who collect mainline figures i'm going to do that first and foremost toxitron leader cloud cover voyager um who else have i got oh i've got a deluxe devcon here to give you an idea and then i've got a core class swoop so bigger than the core class in his fully combined ultra magnus mode he's about as big as a deluxe i'm sure he is isn't he let's have a look a little bit bigger actually a little bit bigger than a deluxe which is great for obvious reasons let's move all of these out of the way um, and then quickly of course let's do some of the figures that really matter if you've got this one or if you collect these particular types of figures there's some more new age for you there you go right let's move him out of the way there's a magic square funnily enough i've just noticed i've got um a core class optimus as well there of course from the other section and then i've got a doctor Wu prime at the bottom there as well but to be honest not much more to say it really is a great figure it really is quite intricate um it's going to take you quite a bit of time to get used to the transformation process because there's so much to do in it i've just realized i've not shown you i've talked about it but i need to show you the articulation so the shoulders will go all the way around there is a swivel at the waist sorry at the shoulder there's a bicep flexion there's a wrist swivel because you can change the hands there's full articulation in this exactly the same as what i showed you in the cab even in this 
giant combined i say giant much much bigger combined mode and the head has got the full articulation as well so sorry i forgot that and i'm saying it right at the very very end but i do hope i've done this figure some justice um and again thanks to show z i'm going to put a direct link for this particular figure in the description if you'd like to get one for yourselves in the meantime there he is it is new ages take on ultra magnus but with the clear plastic version thanks for watching guys take care